All right, so today in this video, I want to introduce an ultimate all-in-one AI co-pilot for your Windows and Mac OS machine. So let's say you're working on a project, let's say you're writing a blog post or a script, and how cool will it be if you can just press a keyboard shortcut and a AI co-pilot pop-up will appear and you can go ahead and ask any questions, help you with your writing, find sources, fix spelling, grammars, write new content and assist you with all your day-to-day -day activities. And the best part, the AI co-pilot has access to over 13 different AI models, including the popular ones from OpenAI GPT models, Anthropic Cloud, Google Gemini, Perplexity and whatnot. If you're someone who is looking to save time and boost efficiency, XXAI is exactly what you're looking for. From real-time AI assistance to a powerful prompt library, this tool is tailored for professionals and creatives alike. And now let me show you what I'm talking about today. All right, so this right here is the co-pilot pop-up that I've been talking about. But before that, let me quickly show you how you can download XXAI and the cool features it has to offer. So the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to the official website of XXAI. And as you can see, it says free AI software for PC that includes 13 top AI models all in one AI, that is XXAI. And the best part is the pricing and how cheap it is to access all of these AI models that you see right here. Whether you want to access open AI models like GPT-40, Mini, GPT-4, O1 Mini, or Anthropic models like th Cloud 3.5, Haiku, Zonet, or Opus, Gemini, Lama, Perplexity, Grok, or even image generation models like DALI 3. All you need is one single subscription, and yeah, you're pretty much good to go. So from the homepage itself, you'll be able to find a bunch of different features it has to offer, the co-pilot, how to activate the pop-up, and all that. And as for the pricing, if you move over to the pricing section, you'll quickly realize that XXAI has two pricing options and the first one is a free forever plan which will give you 100 credits per day and it replenishes in every 24 hours. So you can literally use this AI Copilot for free forever if you want to. And again, they also have a pro unlimited plan for $10 a month where you get unlimited access to all 13 of these AI models that we talked about and every single features that XXAI has to offer. So the first thing that you gotta do is to sign up for a free account and go to this download section and download and install XXAI to your computer. And again, it is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So I went ahead and downloaded and installed XXAI on my computer. And this right here is its interface. And I mean, when you open it for the first time, it will look like just like any other, you know, AI chatting apps like ChatGPT. I mean, obviously all the basic functionalities are already covered. So you will find a input box to the bottom and also a couple of options. And for now, let's just go ahead and say hi and I can hit enter. And now I can select a AI model and the AI model will respond to me just like Cloud or, you know, ChatGPT kind of apps. But the cool thing here is that if you click on this icon right here, you'll be able to change the LLM that you're talking to. For example, let's say I want to talk to ChatGPT 4.0, let's say 4.0. I can go ahead and select that from here and I can start using it. And if you want to try a different LLM altogether from a different service provider, let's say Cloud, you can click on this option right here and select that from here. Let's say I want to chat with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and now Cloud 3.5 Sonnet will be the model that will be communicating with me. For example, I can go ahead and say hi. And this time around, if you see, it says Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, right? And now one advantage that I find with this option right here is that, I mean, depending on the specific task that you're trying to accomplish, one model might not be that great when compared with the other one. So for a specific task, for most coding related tasks, Cloud 3.5 uh, Sonnet is great. But when it comes to creative writing sort of things, GPT models are great. So depending on your workflow and your specific use case, you can go ahead and select whatever model that you want to. And again, you can also access Gemini and other models like Perplexity using this drop down. And now let's just say you want to access some real time information and if you use GPT or Cloud 3.5 Sonnet or even Gemini, none of this model has internet access or can pull in live data. So if you go over to this option right here and select perplexity, now the AI will have all the data on the internet and it can refer to the internet to give you accurate answers. For example, I could go ahead and ask, let's say, which is the latest MacBook chip? And if I hit enter, all right, so perplexity says that the latest MacBook chip is the M4 Pro and M4 Max. Now, if I go ahead and ask the same question, so let's say uh, GPT 4.0, I'm pretty sure the model won't get it right. So let's just go and say which is the latest MacBook, Ooh, MacBook chip. And if I hit enter, the AI will, is going to say, yeah, it's M3 series. The reason why, if you ask me, is that all these models like GPT or Cloud has a knowledge cutoff date and these AI model does not have any data after that particular date. Now, if you find yourself in such a situation and you want real-time access to the current data, you can go ahead and use the perplexity model. So this is one 
particular use case that I like a lot in this particular app right here. So it becomes incredibly easier for us to navigate and find real time information and access 13 different AI models all in one place. And it doesn't really stop here. You can go ahead and generate images using AI all within this platform as well. Now that we have seen all these text generation models, let's just go ahead and try to create an image using DALI 3. So all I got to do is to select DALI 3 from here. Let's say DALI 3 and I can go ahead and say 911 on a mountain road. So this is the prompt that I can hit enter. And now DALI 3 image model will create a image and show the same to me all within the same app. How cool, right? So let's wait for it to load. And as you can see, DALI has created an image for us. And if I click on this I button right here, I'll be able to view it in full screen. And if I want to, I can go ahead and download and save it to my computer using this download button. Now, these are some basic features that XXAI has to offer. And another cool thing is the prompt library. So if you come over to the homepage of XXAI, you will find an option that says prompt. And all of these things that you see right here are popular prompt that you can use in a single click. So you have a travel guide, relationship coach, AI writing tutor, chef, storyteller, short story generator, cover letter. And if you go to the creative writing section, you can go ahead and find a lot of prompt tailored towards creative writing. So let's say, depending on your specific use case, let's say you are into programming, productivity, science, education, or business and marketing, you can go ahead and select it and explore all the prompts like extensively tailored prompt that you could start using in a single click. For example, let me just go ahead and select this featured and I'll go ahead and let's say travel guide. So here I can go ahead and say location, New York, budget low, length I'll put it as five day and local attraction, hot spring, yeah, that looks good. And I can go ahead and click on send. And now using the same model that is ChatGPT 40 mini, I can instantly get a itinerary or let's say a travel guide based on the details that I passed. And now these are some of the core features that XXAI has to offer. And my favorite has to be the pop-up option. So if I go ahead and press, let's say option A on my Mac and shift A or on your computer, you can access this floating pop-up box. So you could go ahead and use this AI Copilot with whatever app that you want to and start using it right away. For example, I could go ahead and say, who is the founder of Apple? And if I hit enter, AI will give me all the details that I need all within this pop-up box right here. And I can go ahead and discard it, copy, continue writing, make it longer and modify it from here. And now let me show you a real use case of this pop-up right here. So this right here is a blog post that I've been working on and it says the ultimate guide to blocking and SEO strategies for success. Now this is one of many different use cases where you can use the floating pop-up box or the AI copilot that XXAI has to offer. So let's say I'm writing this article and I've been writing and I want to replace this particular part with let's say a simplified version so that even a newbie can understand. So I can go ahead and open the XXAI Copilot by pressing the keyboard shortcut and it should appear on the screen. And here I have it, let me move it over to here. And I can go ahead and select this particular part right here and I can paste it in here or you can make a selection and the AI will go ahead and ask you what you want to do. And now this is the cool part. The AI gives you a bunch of different options. And first of all, it will go ahead and automatically select the language. So if you're working with a different language, the AI will automatically find it and you know change the settings altogether now let's say i want to improve the writing i can click on this option and if i want to check for spelling and grammar mistakes i can do this make shorter longer change the tone to professional casual straightforward confident and friendly simplify the language paraphrase or even if you want to you can summarize translate and explain all of these actions then you can continue writing brainstorm ideas outlines make a social media post write code create a press release essay even a lot lot more now all of these are actions that you could do in a single click using the xx ai copilot pop-up that you see right here in this context let's say i want to let's say uh okay i want to simplify the language so i could go ahead and select this option that says simplify language and now the ai will take the content that i just highlighted and write a simplified version and i can go ahead and click on this copy option so it will be copied to the clipboard and i can go back and paste and replace it in here as easy as that or let's say I want to add a new section in here. So I could go ahead and open the same copilot window. Write a section about why SEO is important in blogging for a blog post that I'm writing. Now, this is just for demonstration purpose. If you want to, you can go ahead and give a much more detailed uh, kind of a, a prompt and it will write it for you. Now, it is writing the content that I could instantly use in my writing or whatever project that I'm working on. So once the writing is done, I can go ahead and copy it and now I can paste it in here and I have the content in here and I can go ahead and let's say format it correctly and 
I have a what 300 words long content in a couple of clicks. Now that's how incredibly handy is to use a AI copilot from XXAI during your normal workflow. And it integrates well with any apps. For example, let's say you're working on a doc, let's say you're working on Google Docs or any other app for that matter. It nicely integrates and you can access anywhere this app you can access anywhere using the keyboard shortcut and start using it right away and apart from that in this pop-up itself it also gives you the option to select a different model if you want to so i can go ahead and let's say open a wikipedia page and i'll go ahead and search for something let me search for let's say apple the company and i can go ahead and copy some content from here let's say till here and i'll paste here and now I can go ahead and ask questions or let's say do a bunch of stuff. For example, I can go ahead and if you want to, I can go ahead and click on the translate option and I can translate it into a different language. For example, let me translate it in Spanish. And now the AI Copilot will take the text that we highlighted and it will, uh, you know, translate the same in Spanish and show us the result. So you can use it as a language translator. And if you want to, let's say do something else, let's say and now in a similar fashion, you can go ahead and explore all the cool tools that is available within the Copilot. For example, you could write an essay, creative story, press release, code, sales email, recruiting email, poem, pros and cons list, jobs description, outline, brainstorm ideas, run this prompt, reply to this. Okay. For example, let's say you're writing an email or let's say you want, you found a tweet and you want to write a reply. You can highlight that and you can click on this reply to this option and select one of these options and the AI will go ahead and write a reply for you. So that's also a cool thing. So yeah, XXAI has got a lot of different functionalities that can be accessed all within this pop-up right here. And again, you can also go ahead and select the model that you want to use. For example, GPT-4 or Mini 4 for all the creative tasks, right, like writing tasks, you can go ahead and use all these GPT models. And let's say you are writing, let's say a code. Now in this context, you can switch over to, let's say, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and start using it because it will give you much better output. Now that's how you use XXAI Copilot on your Windows or Mac computer. And now another cool thing about XXAI is the fact that you can go ahead and upload an image or a document or it has even got real-time web access. For example, let's say you're working on a data or a PDF file, extremely long one. You can go ahead and upload that PDF file to XXAI and start conversing with it. For example, I'll go ahead and select a PDF file using this one right here. I downloaded that blog post that we wrote right here. So I uploaded the same to XXAI and I can go ahead and start asking questions about it. So I can go ahead and say, what is this document? about and i can hit enter and now using whatever you know llm model that i want to use i can go ahead and chat with that particular pdf file and now it doesn't necessarily have to be a pdf file let's say you're working on a doc file or let's say a csv file or any other type of files you can go ahead and pass that file and converse with it and midway if you want to change the model let's say try gemini 1. Point, or let's say 1.5 pro you can select it and continue chatting and the AI will have everything in context and start responding to back to you. And now in a similar fashion, you can also go ahead and upload images to this model and start using it as well. For example, I can upload this image and for demonstration purpose, I'll go ahead and say what is in this image and hit enter. And now the AI will analyze all the content within this image and it will give me a description. So I uploaded this image right here. The image shows a workspace with several items, a wooden table with a few electronic devices, a camera, laptop, graphics tablet, cables are connected to the devices and all that. Now you have a lot of different, you know, wide variety of use cases where you can upload images and converse with it. All right. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you about XXAI Copilot for Windows and Mac OS. And to get started and to download the same, head over to highxx.ai website and you can go ahead and download it from here. And the interesting part is the pricing itself where you have a completely free plan if you don't want to pay or an unlimited plan where you can access all the 13 LLM models, including the chat gpt 40 o1 mini preview cloud 3.5 sonnet gemini perplexity and more and again you can also find the complete details in here so you can have unlimited ai search work across any apps or websites so the ai copilot window that i showed you it nicely integrates with all apps on your computer and you can start using it using the keyboard shortcut and it has larger input supported in the chat chat with unlimited documents website links and a lot lot more so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one